Hi, welcome to the latest edition of the 5D Podcast. I'm Stuart from 5D, and as usual, I'm joined by Zach from 852. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Hello. I'm okay. You? I'm all right. I'm okay. I still haven't got rid of my cough, and um, so I'm probably going to annoy you and anybody listening to this with my coughing and spluttering. Um, well, I'm already annoyed, <clears throat> considering how late you are. I know. We, we, in fact, yeah. Because we, well, I don't know. Was it my fault or your fault? I think it was uh, your fault. It was definitely your fault. We had a time earlier on when we said, "Well, oh, we'll do this later on," and then I kind of said, "Well, you know," in my mind, I said. Oh, we'll do it around about this time, but let me know. In your mind, it was, we'll definitely do it at that time, and so why wasn't I ready? And it wasn't my fault. So um, we've had a bit of a week. Um, we've got a few things we want to talk about in, in the episode tonight. We've got one piece of news which everybody seems to be talking about, I think we'll leave till the last, because it's kind of the depressing stuff, I think. Bum, bum, bum. I know, I know, right? But we'll, we'll come on to that in, in, in a little while. Um, couple of things that you've done because you've had a quite a, um, um, a hectic week haven't you really c- catching up with things and um, making sure that you're up to date with one or two other things you finally yeah. got up to date or you finished the first season I should say with of uh, Westworld yeah um, well when we finished on the um, podcast last week yeah. I went and watched the final two episodes two episodes you had left so obviously you found uh, and again people that maybe haven't seen Westworld spoilers um, we're gonna I'm gonna tell you right now that William um, was actually the man in black. How long did it take you to figure that out, or was it a complete surprise? I, I, I got it. I, I got it last minute. All right. Okay. Last uh, minute, as in when you were told it, it happened. No, no, no. When when he was saying about when she was saying about how someone's coming for her, someone who loves her, and all this stuff. Mm. It, it was at that point when I realised. Well, that's that point when I thought, oh my god, is that him? Because I, I, I feel like I was along the right tracks. You were last definitely week when I was doing yeah, about it. yeah. Well, you were definitely. Um, I, I didn't realize. <laughs> I, I, now I knew that they had different timelines. Yeah. I just didn't realise that those timelines actually spanned, you know, 50, 60 years at times. And also, as well, each you know, some of the people, some of the characters, I should say, not necessarily people, but the characters. Um, they had multiple timelines within their own, you know, stories. So you you were definitely on the right line, saying, "Oh, there's you know, there's a number of timelines happening," but those timelines were within, you know. I mean, we got Dolores, who had a number of different things that you know that, that were going on. <coughs> that um, she she was kind of. It was only until the very end that you realised it, it was these these multiple timelines, and she was kind of the centre of everything, wasn't she? She was the one yeah. that. Everything was was built around. Um, are you going to watch then the the second series because that's on? Um, I think it's Sky, it's Sky At- just now. Sky Atlantic or something. What are you going to do? Are you going to hold off for a while? Or, or well, what? I think I might double check on the Sky Go and then I'll see what episode we're sitting on just now because I don't I don't know how far back it's going to go now. If it's going to go all the way back to episode one, right? Next season. Right, um, and I have to make some alternative arrangements. Well, to do so. I must admit, I have kind of fallen a wee bit um, off the um, the grid in terms of the Westworld. Cause I haven't seen it in a couple of weeks now, so I'm slightly behind myself. So, certainly haven't seen this week's. So I don't think I saw last week's um, either. So, I need to do a little bit of catching up. I think you'll like season two. Season two. <clears throat> Everybody I, says it's better. I think I don't know if it's better. It's certainly it's certainly um, far more. It's, it's it's kind of going off in a number of directions. It, it it essentially starts. Well, I say it starts right where the season one finishes. You know, with them being um, the the hordes coming out of the you know the um, the hosts about to rebel and, and that sort of thing. Um, but again, uh, I'm not going to give too much away because obviously you yeah, haven't seen it yet. But again, you've kind of got a timeline thing. You, I, I'm unsure whether or not there's multiple timelines or if there's just one timeline uh, or a couple of timelines I should say um, so you've kind of got and some people are saying it's kind of going off in a number of areas now in season two where it's 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 really sort of taking some chances in, in, in and it might lose some people people say yeah. oh, it, oh it's lost now it's going into lost territory where it's just going all over the place I think it's really good at the moment it's, it's you know it's um it's kind of looking at some of the, the stories and apparently I've been told somebody almost gave it away for me this week that um, a certain character, uh, an important character, appears this week. Which I'm not. I think I've got. I kind of guess who it is, but I won't. I won't say anything just in case it's 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 wrong. Um, so you 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 caught up on Westworld, which is good. Well, caught up ish. Ish, yeah. Ish. I completed season one. Yeah, because we, we might have to use that as our kind of go-to series, considering. I mean, we're going to talk about it in a few minutes, but a particular series that's been in the news that we're going to talk about in, in just a few moments. Um, you went to see what's it? Um, you went to the, the cinema again. 
um, <coughs> during the week. What did you go and see? Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 again. Why, yeah. why did you go see it again? Uh, the missus wanted to see it. Uh, and it was good enough to watch twice. Well, yeah, I suppose. I still haven't seen oh, it yet. I still haven't. It's really interesting to talk about um, sort of Deadpool because um, I was reading today about the, the Han Solo um, thing that we obviously talked about last week. Um, it's not been doing that well, I don't think, has it, in terms of the box office? Um, well, I mean, define, define what is well. Well, yeah. not probably breaking even, I think, is a pretty... I mean, it's in danger of not actually breaking even. I think it costs something along the lines of $250 million to make. That's approximately, and that's not including advertising and so forth. The rule of thumb usually... Well, what I, what I saw when I was looking at what it cost, it was actually three hundred million. Well, that might have taken in all the advertising and promotion and that sort of thing. Then, yeah, <clears throat> I mean, what they normally say is rule of thumb is you you would normally double that for it to actually make money. Um, yeah. In terms of, I mean, I mean, it's only been what two weeks. Yeah, but apparently, weeks. I was having a look earlier today, and apparently, there's been something like a seventy-seven percent drop off this week in okay. uh, which is. Um, in 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 regards to a new release film is, is is like the kiss of death apparently because something like Rogue One made something like 150 odd million in its first weekend which is if you know in terms of a comparable you know sort of film in terms of the Star Wars spin-offs um, yeah. you've you, I think you had a look at the figures earlier on for for um, for Han Solo but it's something how how much have, uh, did you have a look at to see how much well, it's, made? it's estimated that worldwide it's currently sitting around two hundred and sixty four thousand uh, million sorry dollars million well I wonder if that'll include China as well because China's supposed to be you know the one sort of like market that can say well that just says worldwide so all oh, right okay so it's not doing great I mean what about Deadpool did you have a look at Deadpool. Um, yeah, I actually did out of interest. Now, Deadpool is been out a little bit longer. I think about a week or so mm. longer, but that's currently sitting close to six hundred million. Oh right, my God, that's that's a big difference. Uh, even even if it's just a week or so, isn't it? Um, yeah. It's just, uh, I mean, it hasn't been. I've known quite a few people have been to see it, and, and most of the people that that I know that have been to see it, um, you know, people in my day job and, and friends and stuff, um, have liked it. Like, you know, a lot of people seem to be saying it's. You know, an enjoyable film. I mean, we thought it was fine. I mean, I thought we kind of had a bit of a rant last week in certain parts of it, but generally it was okay, wasn't it? It was a decent yeah, film. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, enough. perfectly enjoyable. Um, <clears throat> but I, I just wonder what this means in in regards to the future of. Cause I think Disney are going to take a lot, of, a big of a you know a big hit over this. But the the, the thing is, they can they can probably handle it. I mean, you know, the amount of money they've got in the, in their organization. I'm not too sure whether or not they'll care too much. Um, I just wonder what that what it's going to mean for the future films, you know, like the Boba Fett one maybe and 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 um, Kenobi and that sort of thing. Well, I, I kind of just hope that if they are going to be doing a few more of these Star Wars stories, that they'll um, they'll maybe mix it up a bit and take some risks rather than playing it kind of safe. Yeah, like because that's, did with Solo. That, yeah, that's a feeling with Solo, isn't it? It kind of it, it felt it, <clears throat> it did feel safe and. I, I think I actually want to go and see it again, um, the solo film, just to try and sort of get, in my, get in my head about you know what, what I do real think about it, because it kind of gets sucked up with all the negativity around it and, 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 and so forth, and um, you know, people's... Well, I, whenever I go to watch things, I generally don't pay too much attention to um, you know, reviews or anything like that. I normally just go with kind of an idea of the film myself. Yeah. And, I mean, I, I don't feel like it necessarily met my expectations. My expectations weren't too high for it because, mm. like I said in a few podcasts ago, like, it just kind of stuck up for me. You know, like, I didn't feel like it was a massive push. I didn't feel like you know it was really you know made to feel highly anticipated. Yeah, well, I think um, that I, I totally agree. There, I'm you know think I was thinking about you know the build up for it. Um, <clears throat> my feeling is that that that, that um, <clears throat> I don't know Lucas Films and Disney and and whoever. Kind of were a bit complacent with the whole thing. Yeah. I think they thought, "Oh, it's a it's a Star Wars film. We'll be fine. Everybody will love it. We'll make millions and zillions and trillions um, of dollars and stuff, and we'll make you know lots of money. It'll be great." I think they actually. Cause, I mean, the, the, what what did they have? They had the one trailer, two trailers, and they came out pretty late. I mean, I know that there was all the 
the nonsense around the filming and, and the, the, you know, like what we talked about before, they, they fired the original directors and got Ron Howard in and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I just think they kind of just, they were a bit, just all a bit lazy, just kind of like, oh, it's going to be a Star Wars film, everybody will love it. Forgetting the fact that, the, you know, like we said before, The Last Jedi only came out six months ago, and I think people kind of getting a little bit sort of like, maybe I don't know, maybe jaded, but certainly, um, you know, it's kind of like, well, we want a little bit more than this. And maybe, maybe you know, fans are kind of like thinking, um, well, you know, you know, like you say, take a few more risks. Don't be so safe, you know. Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe. And also, like we said again last week, that um, the what the previous Star Wars film was literally months ago. Yeah, six months ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so there wasn't that much of a break in yeah. to build any real anticipation. Yeah, yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see what just happened in the next few months, whether or not, cause, I mean, you know, the DVD market now is, is kind of like, well, not not necessarily non-existent, but you, I don't, I, you don't have that. I mean, there, there was a time, you know, a few years ago, where if a film, and many films have done this over the years, where they've not done particularly well, um, you know, at the cinema, at the box, of, box office, when they were first released, and but they've got their their fame and fortune and everything through DVD, you know, you get the likes of Blade Runner and Shawshank Redemption and, and, you know, films like that that initially didn't do particularly well and yet have, you know, got this huge following and, and made lots of money from from DVD. And I don't think, the, I don't know whether or not, um, you know, you know, streaming and that sort of thing is, is kind of like you would make up for it now. Be, yeah. it'd, it'd be interesting to see what, what they actually do in the next few months if, if, if they go in another direction, if they do make any money. Because they've still got the merchandising. I mean, you've still got your little hand solo or little dolls that you could buy in your Chewbacca dolls and, and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, which reminds me, well, I, haven't, I haven't got mine I'm, yet. So. I'm actually looking just now at the the difference in the two weekends that it's been. Mm. Um, opening weekend, it grossed $103 million. Yeah. And then the second weekend it was twenty nine. Holy moly, that's a big drop, isn't it? Yeah. That's a that, that's the the seventy percent that I must have read then. So that, that kind of figures with that. Um, <clears throat> talking about money, you were telling me earlier um, today about the the Lord of the Rings um, series. Yes. Um, now, well, I was telling you about a, an article that I read. Yeah, um, and I I, have, I must admit I haven't really read. A lot to say that I'm a, you know a Tolkien addict, and you know we're both Lord of the Rings, <clears throat> big Lord of the Rings fan. We love the movies, I love the books, and that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> but I hadn't really, I haven't really read too much about it. So you probably know a wee bit more than me, maybe you know at this stage. But what were you saying in terms of the per was it per series or per episode that you were telling me? Well, well as far as I'm aware, they've signed a five series deal. This is with um, Am- Amazon, isn't it? With the estate yeah. and everything with, with Amazon. Yeah, I think Amazon, Netflix, and HBO was all like in um, trying to get the the rights to it. Yeah. Um, Amazon, I think they won. I think it was something like a two hundred and fifty million uh, dollar deal. Yeah. that Amazon signed in order to get it. Yeah, um, but it's, a, it's they're looking at a one billion dollar budget for I believe it's for those five seasons. <clears throat> one billion dollar for the whole. That gee whiz, that's for all just... five seasons now. Obviously, that's gonna, uh, the budget's going to largely dictate how many episodes per season. I can't really see it being a, a Gotham style twenty four no um, episodes per season. No, I'm, I'm hoping it's not a Westworld style ten episodes per season. <clears throat> no, I, I'm, but I, if it is, you've got to imagine. I mean, that's almost you know movie budget. For... Yeah, it's it's staggering. I mean. I mean <clears throat> It's 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 certainly one of those things that's that's split opinion. Again, it's you know when when you look online and um, you know I've often thought you know the, you know the Star Wars fans and you know the, the hardcore Star Wars fans can be pretty vociferous. And I've said to you before, you know the Tolkien fans are just the same. You know, real sort of like ownership of of, of the stuff, and I, I you can understand it to a certain degree. Um, there are people that still now that I talk to, you know, that absolutely hate the films that that Pete, Peter Jackson did. Um, you know, for a whole number of reasons, and the people that love the films, and uh, you know, I've re- like we said before, I've read the books. I read them when I was when I was younger, absolutely adore them. Read the Hobbit, then read Lord of the Rings in my teens. <clears throat> I've read it every year, you know, once a year. I make a, I make a point of usually in the summer, I'll I'll, I'll read the, you know the, the whole series again. Um, and I adored the films. I thought they were great. Um, they weren't perfect, but I absolutely adored them, and they still hold up really well. Um, yeah. 
the series, I can't wait for it. I must admit, I'm kind of, you know, really looking forward to it. But see, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering which direction they're going to go because well, yeah, they've said, they've said they, well, I'm not saying they haven't said anything. I don't, I don't think, but it's believed that they're going to go down the route of following Aragon. Yeah, yeah. Um, in some detail, uh, but they said that it's not going to have anything to do with the War of the Ring. Okay, um, it's, going to, it's going to be other stuff. But I mean, if if you're looking, you know, that kind of like the mainstream audience, mm. which they're going to want to target the mainstream just as much as they're going to want to target. Well, these. they're going to want the target kind of like the Game of Thrones type, you know. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. I mean, if it's not following what the mainstream know and enjoy. Then what is the difference between it and Game of Thrones, or you know, any any series of that ilk? Yeah, yeah. Because if it's not following those characters that everybody enjoys, and it's not following the storyline that everyone's familiar with, and it's going to go kind of its own way a few years beforehand. Yeah. Then you know, it may not attract the mainstream like. Well, it may not. I mean, and then, <clears throat> you know, you've got the hardcore Tolkien fans, and then are they... I mean, there's, there's loads of kind of backstories from the other, from the, you know, from, from some of the other stuff that he wrote, you know, Silmarillion and stuff, and that sort of thing, um, where there's kind of stuff that could be gleaned from that. There's also kind of references throughout the Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit as well, with, you know, other things that take place that you never actually see, and, you know, Tolkien was, was, was renowned for talking about particular incidents or even just disregarding but something. How, how many of those incidents will we see if it's based in Aragon's lifetime? Well, this is a thing. I mean, it'd be interesting to see what they do. Are, are they going to have it, it, m- multiple kind of like storylines? Like they kind yeah. of do in, game, in, in, in sort of game, you know, game of Thrones where you, you will have often a number of different areas, you know, in different parts of the, the Game of Thrones um whole sort of like existence where you know you've got things happening on different continents and different and different sort of areas and different countries um and if they go but, for something... but then again in in the grand scheme of the whole like talking kind of you know um world yeah how, how much of that can we really take in in uh, what was aragon in the film was he 80 something like that <clears throat> yeah because it's been obviously is is it ages very slowly because of his, his ancient elven blood and that and that sort of thing yeah so so he's 18 there so i mean assuming you know, we've got it, we're not going to follow him as as a, as a, as a as a, a toddler <clears throat> i would assume so we've really only got what maybe a 60 year kind of window to maybe and and i'm i'm assuming as well that they're probably not going to go down with maybe the exception of um Ian McCallum, who played Gandalf, I could see him sort of coming back in, in you know, and, and appearing. Um, but the, the characters from the films, I doubt very much that they would. I think, I think they would go th- go to like a whole new sort of, you know, um, audi- in, in, audience in terms of characters and, and, and people they're going to have playing them. So you, you're probably going to have a younger version of, of Aragon or Strider or whatever he's going to be known as. Um, yeah. and, I, and I still, I don't, I certainly don't think necessarily that you're going to have. You know, you know, situations in the Shire and that sort of thing. You you may do possibly, but I think there's a danger of having too much to try and. And this is, I think, probably one of the problems that they're finding with the Han Solo thing that we talked about is, is trying to please too many people. You, yeah. you you're trying to make those kind of like little nods to the old fans, and you, you're also trying to, which is what I thought the last the last Jedi did really well. Appeal to a new audience. Appeal to a new audience, yeah. I mean, I know a lot of people went, oh, Luke Skywalker's not being Luke Skywalker, and he's, you know, the whole things and they're killing everybody off. But, you know, I, I kind of like the idea of the direction that they could take with this new kind of generation of, of you know, Star Wars in, in, in the main films. And I think possibly that's one of the reasons why maybe the, the Han Solo one hasn't done as well, is because they've kind of like, we're trying to be old, we're trying to be like it used to be. But we've already gone down this other direction, and, and and maybe you know audiences just don't want that maybe anymore. And I think the Lord of the Rings could be you know in danger of doing that. I'm I'm looking really looking forward to it. Now. I really hope it turns out okay. But yeah, man, I'm looking forward should... to it too. But I mean, it is tough. Like I said, you know, you want to kind of stick to what people know. But then, you know, if you do that too much, I mean, The Hobbit. A lot of people argued that that was just the same films. Well, the, the problem with The Hobbit is, I mean, I love The Hobbit films. Uh, well, I say I love them. I really, really like them. I, can't, I won't say that I love them, say, as much as The Lord of the Rings. The problem with The Hobbit films is that there were, I think there was an over-reliance on the, <clears throat> on the CGI stuff. A lot, a lot of it was, you know, <clears throat> filmed in front of the green screen stuff. 
um, Peter Jackson sort of took took advantage of all the modern technology from Lord, you know since Lord of the Rings, and it looked it just looked it just didn't feel quite the same. I still enjoy them, and and you know um, I've been as like I said to you before, I've been lucky enough to talk to a couple of the actors that were that played the um, the dwarves in the films, and it's great to talk to them and, and get you know get their kind of take on the whole thing. But the problem with the hobby, and I hope it's not what they they go down, especially with the amount of money they're going to spend, is is you know make it all green screen stuff because that's what games Game of Thrones does really well is you haven't you know, got that you you know that falseness to it. It, it looks real and it looks organic. Um, I hope that did you read when they're going to actually have this made then or start making the Lord of the Rings? I haven't even seen a, a time frame for that. You know, um, I hope well, supp supposedly it has to be in production. Within two years of their agreement, which was last year. Okay, all right. Uh, so it's got to be going into production soon. <clears throat> the only day that I saw um, was uh, November two thousand nineteen, and that's the earliest. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, I mean, the reason I'm, I'm saying so because <clears throat> hopefully it will be ready for when a certain other series <laughs> might soon be finishing. Because oh man, I, when you told me the news. This week, I think it was you that mentioned it to me. Did you send yeah, me a text? I, I sent you, I sent you, you a sent me a text, something like Monday or Tuesday night, going, um, Andrew Lincoln's leaving while you're dead. And I thought you were just, I thought it was like, nah. Yeah, I think it was another one of your <laughs> funny wind ups. Um, and then, holy moly, I think the internet broke a little bit this week because Andrew Lincoln leaving The Walking Dead. <sighs> I, I just I, I I I don't know what to do. I really. I'm, I'm, My first thought is like, will I even watch it? Well, I'll still watch it. I think. But it's but, like he's like the the cornerstone. You know, it's, you see, I don't know. Do, do you, there's something weird going on. Well, I say something weird going. On. It seems a bit strange. Um, for a start, he. To the, and, and people who are listening to this, <clears throat> who feel free to put in the comments if, if I'm completely off the mark and totally wrong in this, but to my knowledge, he hasn't actually come out and said anything, has he, publicly? I haven't, no, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen, seen anything. Seen him, seen him. <coughs> so, as yet, and this is what we're talking about, what date are we on today? I can't, 2nd June or something like that. Um, as yet, I don't remember seeing anything in, that's been announced. I'm not even sure that the AMC, Walking Dead, whatever, you know, the company have announced it. Maybe they have. I don't... There seems to be lots of rumours and lots of people saying, oh, yeah, th we've heard this is this is happening. Well, um, surely they wouldn't <clears throat> want to release it because they'd want it to be a shock. Possibly. I mean, part of me thinks, or part of me is hoping maybe, but part of me is thinking, is this a publicity stunt? Is this, is this a kind of, like, let's... let's tease the fans a little bit let's do something because ratings have dropped we can't deny that you know um, compared to how it was when it started out what 2010 um, season 8 wasn't you know see, in fact seasons 6, 7 and 8 have been quite low in terms of ratings have been dropping each year um, and part of me is thinking is, is this a kind of ruse I, I'm, maybe it's not because I think from what I'm hearing or from what I've, I've read, and again, he hasn't actually come out, I don't think, and said anything, you know, clear. I don't think he was too pleased when they got rid of um, Chandler Riggs, who played Coral. I don't think he agreed with that. Um, because I know I did see him in an interview saying that, you know, his and Rick's story, or Rick's story was, was integral to, you know, finding his wife and then being with his son. And I think part of it is maybe, maybe he has thought, well, that's it. You know, what, what's the point now? Because... His family's, I think, still in England. He didn't, you know, they're travelling across to film, you know, half the year or whatever it takes. I think it's, it's taken its toll. And maybe, maybe if he has left, that's possibly one of the reasons why. Because he must be making a fortune on 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 that series. I mean, is is the main character? Um, yeah. And in terms of what he makes, I wouldn't have a clue what he makes. But the the, the rumours are, and again, this is all rumours and speculation, that they want to make uh, Norman Reedus. So Daryl is a main character, or the, or, yeah, or the kind of lynch I, I, I heard they the, offered him um, a ton of money for it. 20 million, apparently, or up, upped it to 20 million. I don't know, it's 20 million per series or contract, or whatever See, the hell is, that is. Is Daryl really the type of... I mean, I love Daryl. He's probably my favourite character, to be honest. But is he... You know, 
you know, leader. I was thinking exactly the same thing earlier on. I, th- I was thinking, why the hell, you know, Melissa McBride, who plays Carol, for me, that would have been, I think, you know, if you're going to have somebody who's, you know, a little bit insane, like Rick, a little yeah, bit bonkers. And, and, and guide the group too. Guide the group, yeah. She's got the, she's got the, the charisma, she's got the, the pizzazz, and she is a little bit psychotic as well, which is great, you know. And, you know, I think, you know, making her, why does it have to be a man? Why couldn't it be? Because so they're already going to lose. Uh, I think Lauren Cohen, who plays Maggie, um, she's going. She's leaving during season nine. I don't think they're going to kill Maggie off. I think she's just going to kind of go like, Dis- well, just just disappear. She's going to go shopping or something down in, you know, um, Atlanta and, and not come back somewhere. I don't know. And apparently they're going to do the same with Rick. I'm hearing as well. How people know this, I'm not too sure because nobody's come out and said anything. But it, it's not going to get killed off. It's just going to be kind of just written out slowly. Um, maybe it's going to go wandering off with with with, with Maggie or something. I agree with uh, well, you. Uh, yeah, uh, Andrew Lee, it says that it's reportedly going to appear in six episodes of season nine. Right, okay. God. Um, I, I just hope that they, they, they kill him off in the most spectacular way and he doesn't like, I don't, like get tetanus and die slowly or something. Do you, do you think they'll do that, though? Do you think... <coughs> I, I think it's, it's, it's got to be a magnificent ending where he's saving the group. Or it could be, I mean, at the end of season eight, did they not... Um, Maggie and... And Daryl was pretty much like, yo, we got to get rid of Rick. Yeah, the kind of like the rebellion type thing, which, <clears throat> yeah, I suppose maybe maybe that could be the, the direction they go. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I I'm, mean, they, they could stagger him. It could be that he goes all the way to the end, but he's just not in every episode. It, it just seems strange. I mean, I mean, they would have known this for quite a while, and, and maybe the news has just leaked and they didn't want it to get out that this was a case. Because they've been filming season nine for a while. Um, yeah. and, and the film were quite a lot in advance because it's it would be out again in what's it, October, November. Season nine would start. Usually it's around about then. Um, <clears throat> it just seems that I just I just find there's something not quite right about the whole thing. I mean, did you see the, apparently Norman Reedus yesterday or the day before um, released a picture on Instagram? Um, now the thing is, the picture he released on Instagram of him and and Andrew Lincoln embracing was was a, a screen still from. Um, season seven, I think it was. You remember the scene where um, the um, Daryl being captured and, and it gets released and is in is in uh, Hilltop, and um, Rick comes back, um, comes through the gates and they embrace at the gates and he gives him back his gun. Do you remember that yeah. scene? Well, this that's the scene where it is released and he's put little heart something emoji you know, next to it, and that's all it's put as non readers. And people are going, oh, look at this. He's, he's, he's released a picture of him embracing with Rick. He's saying goodbye. Well, no, that's a still from a couple of years ago. What's going on? You know, there. So I'm not, I, I've, I, I'm probably going to be way wrong in this, and I'm probably going to be proved to be completely wrong, as I often am with, with many things in life, many things in life. I just think there's... I, I, I think he's going to end up staying. I don't think he's going to leave. I think this is going to be a... Um, oh, I've decided to stay for the fans and everything else, and you know maybe I'm, I'm probably being offered a, a quadrillion amount of money and 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 and, and so forth. Because apparently there's an online petition that's that's been started up to try and persuade. The thing is, it's not the 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 um, it's not the TV company that want rid of him. It's him that wants to leave. So I don't know what petition is going to do. But apparently there's an online petition that people go on the side to try to persuade the company to you know to make him stay. So. I mean, I mean, what the ratings like these days? Is it not something like six million and seasons? They've really gone point? down. Yeah, the ratings have um, have gone down, um, and they're not like they were in the first few. I mean, it, 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 I think it is still, you know, the most watched TV series in the world. But um, in in terms of you know the, the, the ratings for the first three or four seasons, when it was so, it, you know, it was huge, wasn't it? It was just so big. I think they've they've, they've gone down. Um, it's in the last two or three years, and a lot of people, you know, simply just don't watch it anymore. I, I will still watch it. I think, um, depending on well, you know, I I just don't want it to die. I, I, death, I would still you know? watch it just so I know what happens at the end. You must yeah, see. yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, but I'd be interested to see if they announce anything in the next few days or, or, or let it just linger on. It just seems a bit strange. Um, the whole thing just seems a bit weird. The fact that Andrew Lincoln hasn't come out and said anything, I'm not yeah. too sure why that would be unless... Maybe he's not allowed to. Maybe contractually, he's, yeah, maybe he's been stopped from from, um, from saying anything. 
It um, would be interesting though to see the ratings of that individual episode when he dies or his his final episode. Possibly, yeah. That, but like I say, that's if they kill him off. I mean, they may do a a thing where uh, I don't know. He can I, I don't know. Maybe he, he just drifts off somewhere else and joins. Um, what's his face in, in Fear the Walking Dead or, or whatever? Which you've got to watch. You've got to start watching Fear the Walking Dead. Um, yeah. It's on Amazon. Get get watching it because we can start talking about that because that is, that is actually getting so good now. Season four, I think it's on. Um, so so Lauren Cohen then is she definitely leaving because I know that she's starring in a she, she's well, starring in like a, a a pilot episode of a TV show. I think that's been taken up. I think the reason is is that, well there were some problems I think last year or earlier this year. In terms of money, she wanted more money. I think she was felt she was being underpaid compared to some of the other actors. Um, I could be wrong and doing a disservice, but there seemed to be some negotiation issues with, with, with contracts. And then the last I read was that she'd been she'd got now the lead role in this new series, and because yeah. of that, she wanted to leave. And I think she's kind of been a similar sort of thing. She's going to be kind of written out slowly, um, or at least you know just put you know put out to pasture for a couple of seasons, and yeah. and. and um, She's certainly not going to be in it for for quite a while. In fact, maybe permanently. I don't know what they're going to do with her with her character. Um, so it could be quite interesting. Maybe end up killing each other in this in this rebellion thing. Maybe Rick and Rick and Carol, uh, Rick and Maggie, sort of like you know shoot each other or something, kind of murder suicide pact or something, and get rid of get rid of them that way. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, what else have you been up to then this week? Anything else? Anything else of interest? Anything else that you wanted to talk, to, to talk about before we finish up for today? Nothing, nothing notable. Neither have I. It's been a really quiet, quiet week. Um, yeah, I, was, I was having a look to see what films are coming out soon. Mm. Oh, and, Ju- Jurassic Park soon. Shall we go and see yeah. that in a couple of weeks? When's that? Uh, right? I've already, I've already got a mandate with someone else, dude. Oh it's man, you, you, oh man, what's going on? You're two timing me with somebody else. Yeah. Oh god. Right. Okay. I'll just go. I'll just go by myself then. I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> I can see it twice. I watch movies for free. <clears throat> well, you, I've been your second choice for the last couple of films, actually, haven't I? Because you went to see. Uh... About? I went to see you solo with uh, and Avengers. Yeah, but Last Jedi, you you piled me off with somebody, and you went to see with somebody else first, and then I was like, you're you're kind of like your your second date for for that, you know. And then uh, I think there was another film as well that you went to see, and I was kind of like your second choice. It's kind of like, you know, kind of... You a... start to sound pretty needy, dude. The whole world is listening. <laughs> you make a fool of yourself. Hey, that wouldn't be the first time. Um, <laughs> or the last, probably. Okay, right. So while I, I cry into my milk about um, Andrew... Andrew, if, you, if you're listening to this, because I'm, I'm, he probably is doing... You know, he probably does listen to the 5D podcast. Um, and if you listen to this, man, you're on our list. You know, you and John Bernthal and, and, and Adam... You know, we... we you, we don't want to take you off the list. If he leaves The Walking Dead, he will be off the list. So no, I, and then if he goes into some, I mean, <clears throat> if he's picked up in some series which looks bang average, like the Whiskey Cavalier that uh, Maggie's going to, then <laughs> he'll definitely be off the list. Start appearing in some sort of daytime soap thing, you know, where, where you go. Oh, that used to be the guy. He'll be, on, he'll be on EastEnders or something. Next. Oh, some some terrible. You know, he'll be doing so sort of like you know some guest appearance on. <clears throat> Um, the X Factor as a guest judge or something. I don't know. I mean, Andy, don't do it, man. You know, other people have left, and what happened to them? Nothing. You know, so stay. Well, we we got some good films coming up this month. What have we got? So, so what day are we on just now? We're currently, as we're recording this on the on the third, um, we've got this week Ocean's Eight coming out. What do you think? <clears throat> have you seen much of Ocean's Eight? We saw the trailer when um, we went to see Solo. I think I think the trailer yeah, was that. Female cast. Yeah, and I don't want to sound too creepy in this uh, at all. Um, but um, all I will say is Sandra Bullock and Helena Bonacarta are in that, um, <clears throat> which for me is you know I don't think it's my type of film that I would normally go and see, but I, I might actually probably go and see it just because Sandra Bullock and yeah. Helena Bonacarta are the two two loves of my life, which I you know I would see it just for that reason. It looks okay. It looks all right. Um, I'm quite you, excited. You're right, that does sound creepy. It did. It did sound. It sounded more creepy than I, I actually intended it to. Um, we have the highly, you know, highly um, weighted for Incredibles two. Oh, no, 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 no. I, no. No, I don't think so. Again, the trailer was on when um, the Han Solo thing, um, yeah. and. It, no, no, I I won't be going um, to see that. I don't think. I I, I am looking forward to Jurassic. 
was it Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Cop, that's the one um, with with my man Chris Pratt. Um, I just feel like the trailers give so much away. It's like, oh my god, peril! We're trying to escape this volcano erupted behind us. But well, we're yeah. not going to escape the peril because yeah. there's the rest of the film to do. Well, it's it's like the other trailer that we talked about last week, the um, the Die Hard remake. Um, what was it? Sky skyscraper, sky falling scraper, whatever. That kind of went practically to the end, didn't it? Of, of what was going to happen. It's like, all right, okay, so that's what he does, and that's how he gets out of it. And all right, okay, yeah. And, and trailers sometimes, it's like. You know, you, you have this, you know, thing where you scream. Sometimes I feel like screaming at the, you know, whoever's made it. I would like to guess the end before you show me the damn thing. Um, True. Yeah, but I, I'll, I'm looking forward to, to Jurassic Fallen Kingdom World or whatever it's called. We, we, uh, we also have Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Have you seen the first Sicario? No, I didn't. Did you? It's Benicio, Benicio del Toro. Yeah, that's it. It's great. Did I see it? I'm not sure if I did or not. I can't it's remember. on Netflix. You should watch it. It's got Emily Blunt in the first one. I'm. Uh, yeah. I probably have done. I probably have done. Um, I probably drunk in a corner somewhere one night when I, when it was on and, and watched it. Nice. Um, I know. Uh, I know. Ne- next next month though. Um, Mamma Mia! Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> now there are people listening to this. Remember, um, that's one of your guilty secrets. Do people know that you are a secret abba? Um, I a lover. Um, not just a lover. Uh, uh, obsessive, I think the word is. Isn't it? I mean, uh, yeah, how I, I, c- I, I could easily name you two songs. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> At least. Um, but we've got, we have actually next month, we've got the first purge. That might be cool. Okay. See how the, the, the purge all started. Um, I quite like the purge films. I mean, I know they've had a little bit I, of a, you know. I enjoy them, to be honest. Um, well, like, the first one I thought was really good. The, 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 the next ones were. Uh, they, they took it to the next level. I don't think they were too highly acclaimed, but I, they're, they're a fine enough watch. Well, I've got a, I've got a soft spot for them. I know I've certainly got a soft spot for the second one um, because um, one of my actor friends was in that, Jasper Cole. Um, who did? I know, man. Game. I know. I don't like to talk about people. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is why I don't go to the cinema with you, dude, because you point out every one of your actor friends. <laughs> Yeah, it's people that I've once had a conversation with who probably wouldn't know me if they if they ran over me with a steamroller. But you know, they're my friends. And but but Jasper's a cool like, guy. You you'll, you'll, you'll go to the cinema and they'll be like, "Can I take your ticket?" You're like, "There you go." Oh, did you know that I'm friends with Ralph Innocent? <laughs> and he'll be like, "Who are you, dude? Why do you keep coming in here? Tell me this." I, I did that the other week when I was watching uh, watching Ameri- American Horror Story, the, the latest season of American Horror Story with with, with my wife. And uh, Jasper Cole, who was in Pitch, had a, 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 a small scene in American Horror Story. And we were watching it with, with my wife, and, and um, it was quiet. And I went, oh, that's that's Jasper. And she goes, who? I went, it's Jasper. That's my mate, my, my mate Jasper. I'm talking about as if he's like my best buddy. And we are pals. I mean, he's, he's a good guy. But she she was saying a similar thing to you. It's like, you know, do these people really, really know you? I went, yeah, kind of. I stalked them enough, so there you go. Um, the purge is quite uh, good though. Well, I'm looking forward to just, that one then. Just one more notable one, one before okay. we, we probably finish up yeah, is yeah. Um, Ant Man and the Wasp. Ah, uh, you see, now I am looking forward to that. Yeah, Evangeline um, Lily, is it? Is in this one with Paul Rudd? And Paul Rudd. I mean, we've talked about Paul Rudd before. Don't you think Paul Rudd is just kind of. He's one of those guys. <clears throat> Talked about before, kind of like one of those that you know, it kind of knows something you don't look in his eyes. I think is, yeah. I think is a really. I'm glad seeing getting the recognition um, <clears throat> that he kind of. I think he deserves now, and mainly for his versatility. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's in a lot of films where he's kind of the same guy, a little bit of a cheesy yeah. dude, but you know, he, he's had quite a few different roles now. Um, <clears throat> like what, Mute, for example. Mute was good. I mean, um, we talked about Mute before, and and he was. Creepy, nasty piece of work in that, wasn't he? Yeah. One of yeah. my fa- one of my favourite stories of him. Um, I think I've told you before is when he he, he was. I think he was on an, um, um, a talk show um, saying this. He he went home to um, after finding out that he got the he'd landed the role of Ant Man a few years ago now, and he was really excited. And he went home to tell his young son, who would have been about yeah. know, eight nine or something. And he said, "Oh, I've, I've got the role of Ant Man, thinking, thinking his son would be so, so pleased and so happy, and kind of like you know, really proud of his dad." And his son turned around and went, "Well, that's going to suck, isn't it?" You know, sort of thing. <laughs> so, like you know, thinking, "Oh, you, I'm gonna, my dad's going to embarrass me. He's 
big time, you know, in this in this role. I also, I thought that was quite funny. But no, he's. I'm looking forward to the Ant Man Wasp thing. That that would be good. Maybe we could go and see that. Do you, do you, do you think I could maybe have a first dibs to go with you for Ant Man? Could I put I my request in now? Yeah. I'll put it in my diary. Put it in your diary. So if anybody asks you, say that you, you sure can't. You don't want to go with one of your uh, movie friends. <laughs> I'll find out maybe, if anybody. Maybe Jasper, maybe Jasper wants to go. Well, I'll find out who's in that, and if if there is anybody in that, I'll see whether or not I can get a complimentary ticket or something. You're taking the Mickey, aren't you? You're you're you're, you're yes. taking this seriously. Um, okay, right. So I think we'll leave it for that. Leave it at that. Um, if um, we, we if if you do finally catch it with Westworld, and, and, and let me know, and we can talk about that maybe next week. If you if you okay. if you're not catching up, and if, if you need to go see someone about your cough, because I, I think do at this point, um, everyone, including my my ears are going to kill you. Yeah, uh, and I apologise to people. You, you should, you know, it's, it's. I'm going to go and see the doctor probably in in, in the next couple of days. So I'll be, I'll be fine. Uh, there's people wanting to hear me, in, you know. So, yeah. Joe, it's not about being fine. It's about just stop coughing in my ears. <laughs> stop annoying the hell out of me. Right. Well, I'll leave it at that then. So from from me, Stuart from Five D, and Zach from Eight Fifty Two, and my cough. I'll. We'll see you next week. Okay. Bye bye.